Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming to my channel, Christine Louise on Paper. I am doing a flip through of my new fall dashboards. And since it is Labor Day, that means kickoff for all things fall. Yay! I am so ready for fall. This is the last day the pool's closed today, so I feel like it's okay to start bringing out all the fall stuff. I've also noticed all the quick stops have all their pumpkin spice coffees out, so I feel like it is appropriate now that I can go all out on the fall stuff. Um, before I forget, my friend Robin always reminds me to say that if you like my videos, please hit the thumbs up. And if you would like to see more, please hit subscribe and the bell and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. With all that being said, let's go look at my new fall dashboards in my crimson pocket. Also, if you have seen my personal flip through, you will recognize uh, a lot of these images are the same as I have in my personal burnt orange for the fall. There's a couple new ones, but you'll recognize most of them. This is the Crimson Veg Tanned Moterm Pocket Size. I have um, a couple um, pictures of me and my hubby on the boat. I put a little bit of craft paper right here just because I love plaid. I have a little sunflower charm I got from Hobby Lobby. And this bow I got from Etsy a couple years ago. Uh, I don't even know who I purchased it from, but oh man, it's got every fall color. So beautiful. It came on a paper clip, but I didn't like it so I, or a hook, and I just took it off. I like that it lays flat, you know, so it doesn't bulk up my planner. And I have a little Ollie clip. Back here, I just have some itty bitty stickers that I can use in the pocket. Um, and just my Ollie clip, the snow leopard, I think. Um, I don't have anything in the back pocket, I don't think, because I don't want to sacrifice any more bulk. Uh, this first dashboard, like I said, you'll recognize I have this in my personal. I just love it. I love the fall apple harvest, the whole harvest theme. And I think I have this one too in the personal. Here I just keep some note paper. It's just quick note paper that I cut down that was on a pad. I think at Hobby, no Dollar Tree, Dollar Store. So I just cut it down and punched it, and I keep it in here for like quick groceries and stuff like that. Things I need to reference without going through the whole planner. This is small, so I tend to take this one to work and. It's more mobile than my personal, which is so huge anymore. It's it's ridiculous. I think I have this image too in my personal, but I have it on a back side. So on the pocket size, I put it on the front because I really like it. It's very hard when I make dashboards to decide which ones I want to put on the back and the front. Um, plus, I, I move them around a lot, which is why I don't have tabs because I get bored if I'm watching TV. <laughs> I will literally just go through and move them. I am so, I, I know I can't be the only one this geeky, but I am pretty geeky. Like a lot of times my planner, if I'm watching movies, is sitting beside me just to doodle or play. Um, this is one I had that it wasn't my favorite. I like it, but it's not my favorite, but it does match this pretty Hobby Lobby craft paper. This just looks so vintage to me, and I love all things vintage. This is a month-by-month -month little insert I got from Puffin Pages. They have some free printables, and I bought one or two for like $1.99, so I can't remember which was free and which I paid the $1.99. I think this one was free, and I'm glad because I was a little disappointed that the cut marks weren't really accurate. They're supposed to be pocket size, but looks to me more like field notes, but it's still doable. I don't really need a, a big time monthly in a pocket. I just made this little bookmark with Hobby Lobby craft paper and I love how it matches the red cover. I also got out my red Dooney 
And I always use this red wallet anyway, but I brought out my red Dooney. I was using um, a Cameron satchel. But it's time for fall. Here is a um, important dates. I use this when I'm filling out, you know, the new year monthly and go through and put birthdays. So that's what I use. This is my list section and all these things paper clipped. I didn't feel like putting post-its on it. It's all, you know, account information and personal things that you can't put on the internet. But then towards the end, I just have reference stuff like this. I love to keep the sizing chart because a lot of times if I'm out and about and say I don't have both planners and I see something, I wonder if it'll fit because I am all about finding all kinds of bits and bobs, things you would that aren't even meant for a planner. And if I think it'll fit and it looks cute, I'll buy it. Um, this I just got off the internet. It's just another packing, um, another packing list, but this one is the one I use more. And that is my natal chart. Um, full moons. I always keep this with me because I've mentioned before, I get crazy when the moon is full. And I don't mean werewolf crazy, but I get very emotional. And usually it's blue. You know, it's usually I get in a funk. Then I think, I wonder if it's close to a full moon. I'll look. Yep. It's like two days before a full moon. And I'll hear some books I wanted that they were actually recommended to me. So I want to put these on a to-do and to-read list. Picture me and my hubby that I laminated. My favorite Bible verse. Hence, when I get blue because of the full moons, I read my favorite Bible verse. Psalm 23 love it. Um, I went crazy this weekend. I don't even know if I want to show this. These, This is all the things I ordered this weekend. Oh, what the hell. Whatever. I ordered a red pocket by mistake. I thought it was a red personal smart fee because the smart fee on AliExpress does not do a good job of keeping their sizes separate. Like, if you think you're ordering a pocket, you'll flip through and you'll see pictures of a personal and vice versa. So, I was looking at red, pictures of a red personal and it was actually a pocket. So, as soon as it gets here, I have to list it for sale. Then I had to reorder the personal that I really did want. Um, I, got, I also got a pink one. It's a pink pebbled... Smart fee. It's not the the waxy shiny one you see on Amazon. It's actually exactly this color and it's pebbled. And y'all know the smart fee is very affordable. So I wanted that for Christmas because I am so loving this. And I don't know that I'm gonna be able to get this in personal. Once they release them, if you're not literally on the site with your little thingy poised on the buy button you miss out and i've even heard stories of people hitting it in the cart and going to purchase and when they hit the purchase it's gone so i figured at least i would have this shade of red in the smart fee um then i i don't know if i mentioned i got it in the pink because it was it's just very affordable and it's not the dusty rose pink of mo term because I bought that planner twice and sold it twice because it's a very grayish pink. And from what I can tell, this pink on the Smart Fee is more of a blush bridal pink, a very blush. We'll see when it gets here. Um, I actually ordered the Moterm Mustard in Lux and it was too big and I had to return it. So I ordered the regular size and I'm excited for that to come. I ordered that on AliExpress. I ordered a couple Jumbo Ollie clips and then two used books. They're two, one of them's a fall book and I can't wait to read it. If you ever heard of the classic by Ray Bradbury called Something Wicked This Way Comes. It was written in 1962 and it's a very vintage fall scary story and I'm very excited. It's about 350 pages and I'm looking forward to it coming. So that's me fessing up. That's how bad I was this weekend. I bought all that stuff. Here's a 
another picture of me and my hubby, and some movie night stickers. I use these constantly. It's an email from a friend. Um, this is a cookie dashboard. I, I mean, look at this. Oh my God. I just love it. And then this one is the front dashboard on my personal size. I love that. I got this paper from Hobby Lobby. It just looks so good beside that. I could just, I, I, I would love to just make planners and sell them, but the time it takes to make one, nobody would want to spend the money to buy it. It's a time consuming process. And I'll just flip through my dailies. If I don't, then the video will be so short, there won't be any point. So I'll just go through my little pocket dailies. It doesn't have much room. I mean, you have to just kind of pick and choose what you want to put on it for the day. I do it more for fun. My personal is the one I use to keep me on track, literally, with things I have to do and remember. But this one is more just for fun. I will link the stickers below. I love all of these stickers. I. It's actually two or three different little books that I get from Amazon, and it's very affordable. I don't like how that page turned out. I had so much to do that day that I wanted to just list everything I had to do, but it doesn't look very festive. So I go to Hobby Lobby so much, it's ridiculous. I actually know the cashiers. That's probably not something you should boast about. This was yesterday. It was 85 and hot as hell both days. It was so hot. And then this is today. Then I have the rest of the year in here. At the end, I have this pretty Hobby Lobby sunflower I guess it yeah sunflower paper this dashboard I also have in my personal I love the fact that it's fall at the beach because I love the water any day of the year and then here this is just I actually used this one time it was my wallpaper at work my computer wallpaper this is my journal section so I'm not going to go through this I have a sizable stack of paper for journaling and I like that this one I think I have in the personal too I I obviously love just the whole harvest theme at some point I'll have to do new dashboards for this planner for Halloween um, I already have Halloween ones made for my personal size from last year but I didn't use a purse a pocket last year so I will have to make Halloween dashboards I love I just wish I could reach it and drink that um, this is my meal plan I also got this one from Puffin Pages this one might have been the freebie I can't remember then I have this page marker to I gotta start filling out today it's early yet um, here, this, well, I mean, obviously, this dashboard marks my um, health section. So, here's my grocery list. I actually use this when I order groceries to make sure I didn't forget anything. These are my hardcore weekly items. A couple lunch ideas. Then some dinner ideas. And then all the rest of this... Is hardcore health information um, before and after weight before and after measurements um, goal photos stuff that you know this is just really personal but in fact that's one of my goal photos my husband took me out this is the work section and this one 
Well, let me show you the dashboard. It's so pretty. I can't go through this because it's all personal information on employees and staff. And all this stuff is laminated because I use it when I work remote from home. So that's that. And then my last dashboard also is in the personal. It's those beautiful dark cherries laying on wood. And then I don't know if that one's, I don't think that one's in my personal planner. Then I just have this to keep from scratching up these glossy dashboards. In case you've never seen any of my videos, I make dashboards by just going on Google and putting in whatever images I would like to see. And then I pick usually 14, then I crop them, you know, keeping the focal point. And for pocket, I don't need to put them on craft paper. When I'm doing them for personal, because of the shape of the personal planner, I have to have it bordered by craft paper. Um, so then I laminate it and hole punch them. It doesn't take as long for pocket. The personal one, it just takes about four hours to do all of it. In the back here, I have some little baby coffee stickers, little piece of that plaid paper I liked. I have um, a little picture of Peter Rabbit. I have a buffalo plaid, black and white buffalo plaid Hobby Lobby card that I use for these tap, these um, flag, page flags. That's what I write like notes when I'm planning ahead of time. I'll use these little flags. Then I have this cute little coffee sticker. Coffee is a liquid hug for your brain. Boy, ain't that the truth. Um, I have a Moterm magnetic clip I just got. It was, they're very cheap. They don't come in many colors. It was just um, black, white, the blush paint, gray, and I think that's it. I like it, but I wouldn't order any more because I tend to go for more of the colorful ones. But I do like it. It is leather, and I'm sure it'll last long. So that is my fall decor and flip through. Whoops, I didn't mean to show. That was my journal section. <laughs> oh, I always do something I'm not supposed to do. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I love responding and talking to you guys and love the fact that we all share our same love of planners and paper and stationery and wallets and stuff. And like I said, if you subscribe and notify, you'll see my videos when I upload them. And I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Bye!